Do you think CapCut is too basic for pro level edits? Let me show you 10 high quality effects you can copy and use to instantly level up your content or your client's work. 90% of CapCut users never use these effects and that's exactly why their content never looks premium. I use these effects that I'm about to show you in CapCut to create videos that hit hundreds of thousands of views. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can do exactly the same thing. CapCut isn't just a good editing tool, it's one of the fastest ways to create high quality content. Because in the content game, time is the money. You don't need to spend hours inside complicated softwares, everything happens inside a CapCut. Let's start with count to number effect. Numbers constantly send a signal to your brain. Every time you see numbers on the screen, your brain instantly pays attention. And when they start growing, you can't look away. All you gotta do is create a text and set your default text. Now delete the default text and type a number. For example, in my situation, I will be showcasing money counter effect. Now I'm gonna type in 137572. This can be just the random numbers. You can also change your font to whatever you like. And now is the part when we start animating. All you gotta do is go five frames forward, which means one, two, three, four, five on my keyboard. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut right here and I'm gonna delete this part. And now I'm gonna take th this text and add it right next to it. And so I can copy and paste faster. I'm gonna select both of my text and paste them on the timeline. Now I'm gonna select my four text and copy them and paste them on the timeline. So now I got eight and I can do that one more time, which gives me 16 colons of text. So now what I gotta do, because all the time the number stays same, all I just gotta do is now, for example, you can type in here, one seven two and you got to change the numbers in every single column all the way up the numbers you want to have the final number so i'm going to speed up this process you can guys do this by yourself so let's see how that goes and good point you always want to make a small jumps for example here 137,000. you cannot be putting like 300,000 because that's going to look awkward so you always want to go with the small numbers and slowly scaling up like i'm doing right now Okay, and my last number, I'm gonna put for example, 1 million, and that's gonna look like this. And now when I play it, it makes this counter effect animation. So now all we gotta do is to add a sound effect and we are all set. This next effect I'm about to show you is psychological trigger. Using progression or loading bars, tells your audience that something is coming. They add rhythm, urgency, and makes your video more dynamic. Now this effect is actually super easy. All we gotta do is to create a default text and remove the default text and space this out, space it out all the way like this. And now you just gotta go down here and select the background and you have to select your color. In my case, I'm gonna select white background and I'm gonna copy this layer and I'm gonna change the color to something green. And the green color, something like this, maybe make it a little bit more green like this. Okay, that looks fine. And now what we have to do is create a compound clip. So right click and create a compound or option g on a mac and now what you got to do is go to your green and set the video and put it on second layer and now on your green layer go to mask and add a mask and select split rotate it like this and put it on the beginning of your clip and now all you just got to do is to click on the keyframe go at the end of your clip and drag it up all the way you can even play with the feathering like this so it looks more dynamic and when you put it on the end of the clip, you just have to press the keyframe and you have something like this. And if you want to smooth it out, you can just right click, show variable speed animations and select both of these keyframes. And all you got to do is press quad out. And here you can play with the keyframes, which gives us this look. And how we can shape this all together, because now it looks kind of weird. We just have to select both of these clips and create a compound. Again, we go to mask and we add a mask and we select the rectangle or whatever shape you like and now you can you can just shape it the way you guys want and you can either round the corners and we have something like this and if you want to set up for example if you want to have a 10 seconds long progression bar all you got to do is to just create a text and drag it all the way up to 10 seconds and then you set up a keyframe here at the start and another keyframe at the end of the text layer and you have a 10 seconds or whatever time you want so this was the progression bar or loading text effect however you want to call it it looks amazing so let's get into the next effect have you ever seen a video under a different angle this effect literally flipped the screen and we set your viewers attention the best moment to use it is when you want to transition or highlight something more dynamic it's quick bold and break the rhythm in all ways now let's make this CapCut logo 3d all you just got to do is place your logo or your image or anything you would like to make it 3d and go to animations and 
and scroll down here where you see the flip series personally i like to use flip 4 which is right here and all you got to do is click on it and i would recommend to make this a little bit more bigger and now we have this 3d look and here is just a bonus if you want to stop it in this position or whichever position you like maybe in this angle or let's say you want to stop it in this angle so you have to find a freeze option here but if you don't see it that's because you have to create a compound clip out of this and now you can see this freeze option and once you freeze this option you can delete these two layers and you have this kind of angled CapCut logo or you can use it on anything you would like to have the 3D effect looked and you are all set. You wouldn't be a pro level editor if you wouldn't be using gradient text in your videos. Using gradient effects in your videos instantly boost quality of your content and help you to stand out. White fonts and simple color. These are good but there is always something missing. That's exactly gradient effect you apply on your text. With just few clicks your design feel more premium. Now if you want to create a gradient inside of CapCut all you got to do is just add a text layer and type in a premium now you have to duplicate the layer you can also select your font or whatever you like and now you have to pick your first color in my case i'm going to be using this yellow and in the second layer i'm going to use a orange and i'm going to have something like this and now we, how we can make the gradient is we have to make a both clips compound but we have to do this separately so compound for this clip and compound for this clip and now we just have to go to video Go to mask and we have to add a split mask. And now as you can see, all you got to do is to drag this feathering up in here and just play with it the way you guys like it. So maybe like this, if you don't want to play with this, you can always go here where the feather is and you can, for example, type in the number, but I'm going to type in 35 and bring this down a little bit. And we have this premium gradient effect. You can use it in any color. Just a bonus here. If you guys want to spice it up, you can select both of these compound and create another compound and you can just go here where it says effects and type in a glow too and drag this effect onto this compound and just lower this down so it's not looking that flashy i always thought this could be only done in after effects or premium pro but i found you can do this in CapCut as well and it looks definitely premium so let's get into our next effect do you want your edit to feel even more premium and clean this effect adds motion and glow to any element it's smooth stylish and it instantly upgrades the way your video feel okay now let's get into our shine effect so for example i have this after effect logo i'm just gonna remove the background really quickly and i'll make it smaller like this you can use it on anything either on icon or text whatever or Im image whatever you guys like i will show you how to do it on text as well but let's start with the icon so we have to duplicate this icon and all you got to do is go to adjustment and go to curves and all we got to do is take this line and bring it all the way up to the corner and now we go back to video select the mask and we add a mask and we go to film strip and we just rotate it the way we want in my case it's like this and i can always play with the feathers so it looks a little bit more shiny and if it's this is too much you can always go back to basic and go to blend and lower this down up to your expectations and now all we gotta do is go back to our mask and scroll down here where you see mask setting and just set a keyframe and go for example in here and this bring it up in here and go on our first keyframe and this bring up in here and now when you play it you have this shine effect and how to make it look better even more we just have to open our variable speed animation setting and just select both of these keyframes and go to this little icon and you can guys select whatever you like i personally like this rebound out it makes the shine effect look definitely premium now all we gotta do is to add a shine sound effect and you're all set and now back to our premium gradient text if you want to make this text with shine effect all you got to do is to come back here and you can copy either this layer or this layer because we're gonna have to paste it here and press the undo compound clip and now we have to change the color to white or whatever shine you want in my case it's white and now we can create another compound and we go to video mask and we do the same thing we just go to film strip we make it a little bit smaller drag it all the way up in here and for example you place it in here and just hit the keyframe and drag it all the way up in here and then you have this premium shine effect so that was the text that was the icon you can literally do this on any anything and let's go on our next effect this effect turn any boring footage into high quality content in just few clicks it's absolute instant movie trailer no plugins no lots just drag and drop so if you have some footage you want to make it look more cinematic all you got to do is to go to effects and type cinematic and just select this effect cinema and drag it on the timeline make it the same length and we have something like this it's really that easy and that quick in CapCut, so I'm surprised. Let's get into our next 
text effect. Want your edit to look intentional and not random? Lock your text or graphic onto a moving subject. This effect is storytelling through movement and CapCut make it super easy. If you have a subject going in a clip and you want to attach a text on your subject, all you got to do is to create a text and set a default text and you can make this the same size as the clip. Make sure to turn on these so it's snapped together. And for example, in my case, I'm gonna type video editing and let's type it up in here and we can change the effect so it's not looking this weird. So let's select just this one. You can select whatever you guys like, even you can do the gradient or whatever you want. And you just select this text in my case. And now we have to go to tracking and select motion tracking. And now we have to fit this subject inside of this box. So I'm gonna just make it like this, this size. And now I hit start and let the cup cut do the work. And for better smoothness, you can turn off the scale and distance and you have something like this. Floating animations are nice and they always look like they've been made inside of After Effects. What if I would tell you, you can make it in CapCut in just few seconds. Using floating effect gives your scene motion without extra effort. Floating animations grab attention very quickly and it helps your content to add extra motion. You can use them on pretty much anything. Text, icons, images. And the best part, in After Effects, it will take hours to animate this type of effect. Just drag and drop and let it float. This next effect, I'm gonna demonstrate on CapCut logo again. So I'm just gonna remove the background up in here and make this a little bit smaller. And I go to effects and all I do is type play. I just use this effect, play pendulum, and I drag it on an icon. And now it looks kind of a weird all around the edges and everything, but that's fine. We can play with it as well. All you got to do is to decrease the twist and sharpen as well. And now when you play it, you have something like this. Sometimes what really happens when you have a circus object or anything, it sometimes happens in a CapCut. I will show you also one extra trick, how to fix a glow effect inside of CapCut. So let's start with the floating effect. If I'm going to apply a float play pendulum effect on this circle, it's going to make this kind of cutouts so what i want to do now is remove the play pendulum effect and i just create a compound clip and now we can easily drag and drop this play pendulum effect and just play with the setting the way you guys want and you have the play pendulum effect you can use it on text image or anything you want and just extra tip if you want to apply glow effect or anything on the icon and you just select the glow and put it on the icon you can see these edges all around the image or icon or whatever you use so how to fix it is just remove the glow effect and make a compound and now you can easily apply the glow effect on the icon or whatever you want and it don't show this cut of the edges that was just the extra tip and let's get into our next effect placing text behind the subject definitely adds a depth and definitely that after effect look without touching after effect it's fast clean and instantly level up your visuals it's actually one of the easiest pro trick inside of CapCut. now let's place the text behind our subject so now what we gotta do is to select our text and select our default text and for example we can type in here text and you guys can size this up pick whatever font you like let's do this text and set it up wherever you want the text to be and now just duplicate your clip and what we got to do is to remove the background out i'm using this function auto removal we also have to select our text and create a compound clip so option option g on a keyboard or right click and select compound clip here and now what we have to do is go to video on our text layer and go to basics and set it on the second layer and now as you can see text is behind our subject top creators and top pro editors using smooth zoom ins in almost every single video this trick with variable speed animation gives you that cinematic moment in just seconds it's just one small detail that makes your edit to feel more high end even if the footage is basic this smooth zoom in is actually super easy all we gotta do is click on a keyframe here where it says transform we go a couple frames forward where we want our zoom in the end and now we hit another keyframe and zoom in our clip in my case let's zoom it on 145 and now when we play it it looks a little bit awkward so how we can fix this and make it look more smoother is just right click our clip and go to show variable speed animation we just click on our keyframe and we go here and set auto curve and we go on our first keyframe and click on the auto curve as well and now when you play it you can see it's a little bit better but we can play with this a little bit more when you click on your second keyframe you see this blue line and you can drag it all the way up here in the front and what does it mean the keyframe starts super fast and then it slows down and you have smooth zoom in like this.
and you can always play with this setting you can for example drag this one as well and that means it's gonna go slow and here it speeds up and then it goes slow again like something like this and with just these few little touch-ups you have a premium zoom in these 10 effects I just show you are just the beginning because CapCut has way more to offer. If you are serious about editing faster and more professionally, you're in the right place. In this video, I will show you how to create and animate motion graphics inside of CapCut. Or check this one. I share 5 things I wish I knew earlier when I first started editing in CapCut. I will show you how you can build your own template so you can edit way faster. I will go over animation tricks, layouts and editing shortcuts you will actually use. 